Research on sustainable and energy efficient aviation is important to ensure the mobility of tomorrow. We have an increasing demand for mobility by aviation and we need to meet also the CO2 challenge. All the, let's say, analysts say that we can expect a future um, demand in mobility which doubles the air transport volume each 15 years. Traditionally, the aviation industry is one which makes small steps and here we need a revolution and not a evolutionary development of technology. We are currently transforming the stationary energy system in many countries. Germany belongs to the group of forerunners in this field. We have three main directions. So the first aim on the decarbonization of the electric a supply system. The second is the heat and cooling sector, so in residential and industrial applications. The third is the mobility, which finally contributes roughly to one-fourth of our CO2 emissions on a worldwide scale. We have to take something which is abundant around us air as water and in future also electricity. So if we can produce our future fuel from there, that would be perfect. That is what we are looking at, producing hydrogen or hydro hydrocarbons and getting them into the airplane, basically. Whether an aero engine is driven by an electric motor or, as conventional, a gas turbine makes not much difference as far as the noise is concerned. However, if you introduce electricity as a power supply in an aircraft, you gain degrees of freedom for a redesign of the whole aircraft. I expect in 35 years we will have aircraft that have a different shape. I think flying will be um, much more individual than it is today. Well, the challenges of uh, aeroacoustics and aircraft noise is more or less defined by um, a strategic paper of the European Union, which is called Flight Path 2050. Those people have defined certain objectives for noise reduction in aviation, and these noise reduction goals are very drastic. How to make an aircraft silent? Uh, of course, the nature shows us uh, how it works with the owl, um, but it's not so easy to transfer everything from nature into technology, but still. You have to reduce the noise of an aircraft um, by about 15 decibels. Uh, and that's just a number, but if you if you translate that into what engineers have to do, uh, they have to reduce the sound power of this whole aircraft by 97%. We are prepared to meet the challenges of the 2050 generation aeroplanes with our competencies, for instance, aerodynamics and energy research. Theo Braunschweig is situated in a rich environment of uh, research institutions. So we have the German Center for Aerospace Research, we have the research airport right in our vicinity, and we have a long established cooperation also with our colleagues from the Leibniz University in Hanover. So one aspect is, is surely the environment. So if we, are, if we are not become active now, it will be too late. We work on the CO2 challenge by research and teaching and by knowledge transfer into society.
Thank you.